inheritance with constructors currently we are in section 9 and we are about to check out the fifth video of this section so in this section we are going to explore inheritance along with the default constructor and also the named constructor so again head back to your editor and just to save time I have simply modified my code here we have the child class of dog which inherits from the parent class of animal so the dog is the subclass or the child class and the animal is the super class or the parent class as simple as that and within these two I have some properties of string color and here I have string breed so indirectly the dog inherits this property as well from the animal class within these two classes let us define the default constructor and also declare a print statement such as dog class constructor and also declare the default constructor within the class of animal perfect and within the main function let us create a dog object such as dog1 equal to dog constructor give it a new line and also create one more dog2 object let us now launch the application now in the output in both the case of dog object first animal class constructor is being printed followed by dog class constructor now the question arises since I am creating the dog class and using the dog constructor so this constructor must be getting executed so we should only get dog class constructor instead of also getting animal class constructor so let me tell you one thing here that in Dart whenever we define any constructor there is one implicit call to the super class constructor as well so right after the dog we have the syntax of colon followed by super keyword that will actually refer to the animal class followed by its constructor like this so this super call will actually call the constructor of the animal class so even if you remove it then also it is there so let us try it out with the super keyword here launch the application and here we are getting the same output let us move a step ahead what if within the dog constructor we actually put some parameter such as string breed so now from the main function we have to actually pass the breed of the dog such as labrador and here let us call pug so these are the two breeds of the dog launch the application and there we go there is no impact in the sequence of constructor call that is first the super class is called followed by the subclass or the child class right now we have actually parameterized our child class constructor what if we actually put some parameter here within the animal class constructor such as string color so right now if you notice as soon as I put the parameter here in case of animal constructor here we are getting some error that we have to pass some parameter to the super class constructor because right now our super class constructor expects one parameter so we have to pass something here let us give some default value as black like this or let us experiment more let us right now remove this super call so here the compiler is showing us some error here the super class animal doesn't have a zero argument constructor so always remember that whenever we have a child class and the super class so it is mandatory that your super class should have the zero argument constructor like this now suppose in case your super class has some parameterized constructor so in that case you have to manually call the super class constructor like this and pass in some value of the parameter it is totally up to your wish launch the application and I guess you will get the same output like this now what if I want to pass this black while creating the dog object here so for that what we can do is right after the breed let us define string color and here right after labrador let us pass here as black and pug let us pass here as brown the color of pug while calling the super class constructor instead of hard coding it here let us put the variable of color so the sequence in which the calls are getting executed is that when this statement will be executed the black will fall to this variable of string color and this string color we are then passing to our super class constructor which will finally come here so here we can actually assign this dot 
color equal to the local variable of color perfect like this and here as well if you want to you can use this dot breed equal to breed like we instantiate any instance variable as simple as that color and I guess we don't need to instantiate our color here because color is being instantiated here let us now launch our application and you will get the same sequence of call perfect so this was about while using the default constructor or the parameterized constructor let us put here parameterized constructor as well perfect now let us come to our objective too that is inheritance with the named constructor now what if within the class of dog we have actually defined our named constructor such as dog dot my named constructor and if you remember you can name it as per your wish I am using the name of my named constructor for the sake of simplicity and then put it like this and print out dog class named constructor so here if you notice it is again showing some error that the superclass animal does not have a zero argument constructor so while using the name constructor as well it is mandatory that your superclass should always have the zero argument constructor so here if you remove it then the error will be gone here but in case your superclass does not have a zero argument constructor then you have to make a call similar to what we have done here such as use the colon and then super keyword and pass in some value such as white the color so if you launch the application by creating one more dog object this time dog3 by using the named constructor such as dog dot my named constructor and here give it a new line let us now launch the application and let's see what happens so this time again we are getting the same output such as animal class constructor followed by this time we are getting dog class named constructor because in case of dog3 we are actually using the named constructor that is this is being executed so now similar to our parameterized constructor you can also put some parameter in case of named constructor as well such as string breed comma string color and here instead of passing just white pass in color perfect and here as a parameter let us pass German Shepherd and the second parameter let's pass black brown launch the application and we are getting the same output the difference being that we are just now passing the value to our named constructor that contains some parameter here so similar to our this constructor you can actually copy it and paste it here as well in this way we can instantiate our breed from our named constructor proceeding how about defining the named constructor within our parent class of animal let's try that out as well such that animal dot my animal named constructor like this and here let us print out something so how can we call this constructor from our child class of dog so here the syntax will be a bit different you have to use super keyword followed by dot and then the name of your constructor such as my animal named constructor put it here and since our named constructor of animal does not accept any parameter so let us remove it for now so in this way super dot my animal named constructor is simply going to execute this constructor of our super class of animal perfect so as soon as this statement will be executed let's see what happens so here we go animal class named constructor is being executed followed by dog class named constructor as simple as that now the question arises can we call this animal named constructor from our default constructor of course yes just use dot followed by name of your animal constructor and here since we don't have to pass any parameter so let it be blank launch it and we are getting the same output perfect in all the cases such as dog1 dog2 animal class named constructor and dog3 as well you can also put some parameter in case of my animal named constructor such that let us put here string color similar to what we have done here like this 
So now the changes that you have to make is here you have to pass in color and here as well color. Launch the application and there we go we are getting the same output just that our values are now being initialized by these parameters of color here within our constructor of named in animal like this. Just for the sake of better understanding here let us use our super class parameterized constructor and in this case we are calling the named constructor perfect. So in this way we have actually worked out how to use inheritance with the default parameterized and also the named constructor. So in the end if you are feeling confused then please don't worry about it. I have few points for you to remember. So in the end of this video let us summarize that by default a constructor in the subclass or the child class calls the superclass no argument constructor. So in case there is no parameter in the superclass constructor then it is called automatically. You don't have to use any kind of super keyword which I have mentioned here. Fine. Now the next property is that the parent class constructor is always called before the child class constructor. It is very important point so please remember that. And in the end if the default constructor is missing in the parent class then you must manually call one of the constructors in the super class. Well the last point we have checked out in detail in our code itself that is if the default constructor without any parameter is missing here then you have to call any of the super class constructor manually like we are doing it here. It is mandatory. So that's all for this video. In the next video we will check out abstract classes.